screen guys. Feels like a barbel. Yes, nice, nice looking barbels guys. going oh no nope, she's spent Happy days, happy days. Eleven pound twelve ounces. Long, powerful, eleven pound twelve ounces of bristling Kennet barbers. Decided to move out that other swim. Didn't have any bites in between those trees, although it did look good. Moved into this swim, which is the swim where you saw me have that large bream on my previous video and yeah the rod screamed off after getting a few cray taps recast and um, topped up with a bit of bird seed and this beauty has torn off what a corker happy happy days as I say 11 pound 12 Let's draw myself back there you go how's about that hey how's about that indeed cracking Well, all nearly packed up, just got my landing mat to put on the bike and zip tie my rod to the crossbar. That was a fun fish to have. Bloody marvellous. Absolutely thrilled with that. Do excuse me at the um, start of the video when I was in that first little kind of like swim between the tree branches. I was very quiet and in deep thought so I didn't want to speak and do an intro to the video. I wanted to concentrate on getting a rod out there and um, seeing if I could pick up a fish and I do think it will produce. But after about two hours of being in the spot. I had one of those feelings, it's not gonna be on this occasion it produces, so I moved to the swim where I had that 11 pound 12 bream. And um, cast out, rod was out for about an hour and a half. Saw some slow plucks, which I knew were crayfish. So brought it in to check the bait. Sure enough, the bait's been a bit nibbled. So I put a fresh bait on, re-wrapped with paste, dropped in some loose fed bird seed, no ground bait. So I brought two bags with me, one with loose just loose bird seed, the other mixed with ground bait. So I rebaited the area with just loose bird seed. That way it also doesn't make a commotion. So if there is any fish about, at the, you know, at this time of night and they are moving about, it's not making too much loud splashing to spook them. So I rebaited with that. And within 20 minutes, the rods, no signals, the rods just torn off. And what a beautiful barbus. And the amazing thing is you couldn't make it up. As you saw there on the weighing, it's 11 pound 12. It's the exact same poundage, the exact same ounces as the bream I had. They must be friends. Or they're on the same Weight Watchers diet. Or in their case, they're not on a, on a diet by the looks of it because they're quite chunky. But yeah, the same weight as the bream, 11 pound 12. So yeah, nice to get another barbel. Always nice. And um, yeah, no signal to the um, bite. The rod just tore off, absolutely melted off. And the good old river ambush rod is um, yeah doing me proud. Can't fault them. Beautiful little rods for getting your nooks and crannies and giving yourself some good backbone to take on a feisty hard fighting barbel or chub or river carp in tight swims. Anyway, I sound like I'm marketing the rod but to be honest with the fish that is landing for me it's you know since I've owned both of them the small uh, five foot one and the seven foot they've um, marketed their self. They are beautiful beautiful rods and they they are superb tools for the price. Anyway, yeah, thoroughly made up with the barbel. Hope you've enjoyed this short video. 
it's nice to get another barbell it always is when you have to work harder for them and it has been at times a case of working harder for them that's for sure anyway till my next video do take care guys and wherever you're wetting the line wherever you're dangling your end tackle i hope you're getting a fair crack of the whip take care see you on another video goodbye